Hey guys, what's going on? This is Levite Apparel. Please like and subscribe. Cool, I like it. Listen, our subscriber count's been climbing. It's been going up. Um, but there's a lot of things that we need to talk about. And that's moving the channel forward to uh, another step. Because as I'm getting jobs, um, what I've been doing is uh, introducing you to new machines that I'm doing them in. Um, however, I have a lot of jobs that have... Uh, we call it um, clients that he would prefer not to be on YouTube or their uh, their stuff to be on YouTube. So therefore, there's a lot of things I can't show you. But um, when it comes to the machine that I'm doing stuff on, um, I can show it to you. All right. So hold on real quick. I'm gonna show you my embroidery machine. Uh, this tutorial is gonna be on embroidery. Focus on embroidery. Uh, and also, I'm going to give you a free caveat, right? So I'm going to give you a free, um, you'll see it in a second, all right? I'm going to flip the camera, go to the computer. Um, also, right now, I'm having issues with my uh, mini cam because the new software I put in the new computer is having issues as far as audio for some reason. I don't know why, um, but uh, anyways... Uh, I'm just gonna do a uh, flip the camera and just point it to this computer so you can see it So my bad for the shoddy uh, image, but anyways um, I have a lot to show you uh, right now. I'm about to show you my embroidery machine You've seen it in all my lives and all my videos, but let's just get it up close personal uh, With it. All right. Hold on Okay, cool. So this is my embroidery machine. Um, it's pretty heavy <laughs> It's extremely heavy. All right uh, as you can see right here, um, it's the Brother PE540D. Um, it's an embroidery machine um, that's from what's that company called again? Uh, it's from it's a it's a Brother embroidery machine. This is the power cord for it. As you can see on the side right here, right, can you see it? all right cool there we go um you see the disney characters um my hope was originally when i bought this to use this for um uh selling disney characters um stitchings on it i figured since uh brother had the characters there they had the rights and the minute i purchased the machine i was going to be able to let me put the machine right back yeah the minute i purchased the machine i was going to be able to do um you know disney characters later on i find out that you actually can't do that so if you do get this machine please don't get this machine if you do it's okay but um you want to get an embroidery machine that you can do more in and the reason why i say you can do more is because um this can only uh embroider four inches wide by four actually 3.9 by 3.9 wide wide and length so you want to whenever you buy an embroidery machine you want to buy something that's like a nine by seven all right so i'll put links with embroidery machines that's nine by seven um and you can still follow along with me when i do my tutorials but i want you to be at a point where you're more um flexible because when I purchased this machine, I wasn't thinking about flexibility. I was thinking about um, what I can do with it, not what I can max maximize with it. All right. I'm going to pause the video, flip to the other side. But um, yeah, this is my embroidery machine. Also, if you get this embroidery machine and you don't want to use the software that I'm giving you, you can go to um, iBroider.com. Um, it has embroidery software that you can use. It's a lot of money. But if you feel like you want to purchase from them, go ahead be my guest all right um so i just want you to to know that all right it's me and my glasses <laughs> um anyway so this is the embroidery machine i have it ready um i already have stuff hooped i even have the backing i have um, a sample shirt that i'm using um i have the needle already set up i have the thread that's just, i don't know if you can see the thread but yeah, the thread is here. The thread is there. Can you see it? Hold on. One second. Alright. That's the way I'm angling the camera. My, my apologies. Alright, so. 
anyways the thread is here um we're gonna get to know this machine personally um if you do happen to buy this it's okay um but yeah we're gonna get to know this embroidery machine um or the embroidery machines uh pretty much the majority of embroidery machines are pretty much the same you put the um stitching uh we call it uh oh anyways you put the um the thread through and after you're done putting the thread through and all that it begins stitching uh the thing is you got to have the right software so it can actually know what to stitch all right so which is why i'm doing this tutorial so we can do this together all right um i bought this three and a half years ago it's already um paid for itself um however i haven't been doing much embroidery work with it because i had a job and that job messed me up because i was using um fleece and it kept the the needle kept getting stuck it got me frustrated and then i just gave up on it later on i found out it's because i was doing fleece so naturally the needle would get stuck all right let's flip the camera and get this going again this is the um brother pe 540d all right okay cool saying it was a bummer because um the embroidery machine i got i couldn't do much with it for uh disney characters uh but i can do stuff for my kids so i'm excited about that um yeah but back to this so sns um computing is the company that you want to go to again this is a free trial period of 30 days um the website is send sends computing.com that's s as in sam a as in apple n as in nancy d as in david s as in sam um c for cat o ostrich m mary p paul u eunice t tom i indigo n nancy g dog period dot com let me try zoom in just in case you didn't understand all those things i said all right so there it is right here okay all right guys um now that you are able to oh let me show you how it looks like on your computer uh, you know what might as well just go through it that way you see it okay cool so on my other laptop right here the small one i got I have it downloaded for the um, 32, but not the 64. This takes up to, I think, like 64 gigabytes or whatever. Um, so it depends. If you have up to 32 gigabytes of memory space, it'll give you the 32. If you have uh, 64, up to 64 or more, it'll give you the 64 it automatically chooses it for you i don't like that feature because i only have the code for the 32 so i may end up having to purchase this again although it is sitting on this one so uh i'm gonna have to debate it because i like using this screen because it's big uh, however it's there and I, I don't know i'll decide later um but i get to do the free demo with you guys so that way um i can show you how to utilize this correctly um so when you go on to uh suart you want to once you where's the thing again all right so the minute you click on download it'll download and it'll save it to here you click it you want to go to open once you open it, it's going to begin the process of installing. Everybody knows the process of installing. I don't need to go through that. Um, once it installs, it'll give you like uh, an icon like this. All right. Once you get the icon, um, double click on it to open it. Any minute now. Sorry, my computer's a little slow. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. 
all right so as you can see it says um there are 29 days 10 hours uh remaining in the demo period all right so it tells you how long it you have so it keeps count every time you open it um i love that feature about it now when it comes to i'm not gonna click this because if i was to click this it would show my um my the 32 version password i have um but if you were to purchase this outright um you just if you or if you wanted to purchase outright you would click on this it would ask you for a key and you get the key from going back to the website where's the website again all right oh, okay cool awesome so once you've made that purchase by clicking the view um let me get this out of the way all right so once you add this to your cart you make the purchase it'll send you a a, a password key and that's when you would click register uh, retail version and then uh, you press continue and then it would prompt you to put in the password and once you put the password sorry again um, then you'd be all set and you'd have the full version all right so for 75 bucks um, these embroidery softwares usually go beyond a hundred beyond 200 some embroidery software is costing the thousands so this is not a complex um too complex for for you and also this is not um and a this is not a beginner software neither so whether you are a novice or you're a um beginner rookie this is for you all right i just press continue when you press continue it says um during the evaluation demo period only the first six colors um, stops will be saved to the embroidery files use the uh, platen tool to reduce the number of colors to seven to the so oh so the entire um, image to so the entire image all right um, I'm a hardware reader guys my bad <laughs> um, anyways uh, read this it'll tell you what you can and can't do uh, during the trial period right oh it also says here important do not update during the demo period that will cause the trial to expire so it tells you a second time all right and also it tells you all other tools are fully functional all right and ps if you're doing embroidery um the more colors you have if you don't have a multi-color tool um embroidery machine that has more than seven i would not try to choose colors that's more than seven all right i try to stick to a minimum of four the most all right so let's click it to see how it looks like okay cool so when you come on the embroidery um software uh you'll get a blank canvas like this don't worry all it is i've been saying sue it's so art my apologies so art blank canvas so the blank canvas is right here all right it also has on top letting you know it's a demo so <laughs> just in case you're on your last hour <laughs> you don't be like wait a minute i saved this i thought i have more time nope this is a demo buddy uh anyways uh, so to upload art you can either click on the little folder thing for um open an existing file uh, or you can just pick one from one of your your own file so you can pick stuff from your computer all right so let's go and pick something up right let's go to desktop all right you know what uh let's uh, it's a little too complicated i 
let's go to Levi Apparel. All right, let's go to yeah. Let's do this simple image right here. All right. Nah, it still looks complicated. And you know what? Let's pick my logo. Oh, nope. My bad. Wrong logo. Uh, HP. Bear with me a minute, guys. Mm. Yeah, we're back to this. Again, my phone, I mean my watch. All right, so once you click on it, it's gonna appear like this. So as you can see, this has one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and yeah, just about six colors. All right. Um, get used to that, guys. Whenever you're looking at files that, especially your customers bringing you, you wanna um, count the amount of colors that's in there because. The amount of colors determines how long it's going to take you. And, you know, time is money. All right. Oh, sorry. So um, once you get the file loaded in the parameter that you want, you want to go to um, the image wand tool. All right. Once you go to the image wand tool, you click on it. They'll even tell you. It'll say, welcome to Sue Art so art image processing wizard right it even tells you um what you can and can't do all right it tells it says here this wizard will guide you through the steps needed to process the image to make it more suitable for pro uh, producing a high quality embroidering file all right uh, the rest of this you guys can read it's pretty much telling you to click next all right um so this will prompt every time you do this even if you have the live version it will tell you this the reason why is just in case you forget all right cool so we have the image right here it says <laughs> that's a lot of colors it says it's got 192 colors on there wow I don't know how it chooses all those colors, but um, let's bring them down. So let's go down to six and see how it looks like. All right. When you go down to six, can I move this? Okay, cool. You can. So when you bring it down to six colors, as you can see, the image on the... So it'd be... Uh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, the image on the left side of the screen. Oh, where'd the little guy go? Oh. Uh, let's go back. I think I messed up something. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. That was weird. Uh, if you lose him, <laughs> hover on this, click that, hover this again, and click this so he can appear. All right. Um, okay, cool. So when you're now that you've converted to six images, right? I mean six uh, colors. Look at look at your previous previous right here and your original to see if there's there's changes made but it's very minimal like for example this border right here 
was removed. All right. Um, this side is with 24. The border is here. If you really need this border, then I would suggest you stick to 24 and get as close as possible. So as you can see, the images, they look very similar. Now, I could care less about this border, so I'm going to go 6. As you can see, it's been removed. All right. So it tells you to click next. All right. So next it says um, reduce the color number by margin. Uh, reduce the color number by margining uh, image colors with suitable size coverage percentages. Currently, there are six colors. So, this part I never really got. I just know you want to click the highest quality. Because you click a low quality, that's what happens. Yeah. So, you want to click something that's high because... I kind of loses itself yeah that's better hold on I'll watch again I guess I really gotta be somewhere huh uh, anyways um so we're gonna choose 40% because it gives us the closest to the original as possible all right um, after you've chosen you click next um, then it asks you again, um, says reduce the sparkles to produce a, uh, to produce an image that will stitch smoothly. So you can reduce it by 100%, 6%. It doesn't really make a difference. I think what is, anyway, we'll, we'll get to this when we start stitching. Um, so yeah, I chose 100% and as you can see, the image still stays similar to the original. You always, they always give you a preview so you can see what's going on. All right. I'm going to click next. All right. After you're done, um, if you want to reduce it some more or, um, you know, Anyways, let's click finish. This video is getting a little longer than I thought it'd be. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, next step is you want to click on the little sewing, key, the stitch image. Once you click on it, it's going to give you all this. Now, when you are a novice, you'll know what all these mean. But for now, we're just going to stick to the basics. All right, so you wanna, um, I always click on this. I don't know why, I just like clicking on it. Um, so you wanna click on auto sew image, so that way it creates, I'll just show it to you. So you can set um, transparent colors or uh, sew all colors. Now, if you know you just want the image you don't you care less about the background colors you want to click on set transparent colors all right and what that does is um it gives you a little bit of uh, eye drop you take that eye drop and it gives you a variety of stitch options for the background i mean for um the foreground of the image the background is more like, um, it, it's, I don't know if, if you can see it, but let me push this a little closer. All right, you see how it looks like? It looks like a stitching. Now, instead of um, an actual image image, and then it prompts you with a message also. All right, it says, um, auto sew is finished. You may now save the stitch, the stitches to an embroidery file by clicking save or save as you want to click save as all right um now on the side 
uh, for those of you who are new, this is um, the color that you're going to be stitching and the how many steps it's going to take, angles, um, and all these very variant things that you'll find out soon. Um, now, you can reduce... click OK you can reduce some of these to be one or two so that way you have only one color it's redundant to have the same color the machine is gonna be like what but anyways um well all this we're gonna figure out together as we go through these tutorials oh, what the heck did I just close it Yep, I closed it. My bad, guys. Uh, where are we? Eh. What was that? Yep, I just closed it. Uh, anyways, at least you got a little bit taste of how it's going to be. Uh, like I said, this may look a little bit complicated but it's not they made it as simple as possible the section that you saw with all those stitchings don't worry about it we'll work on it um and we'll work to reduce it because the more you have to stitch the more your machine has to do the longer it's going to take so um there's a way to reduce it to make it less and that way you only stitch the amount and the colors that you need to stitch all right um, with that said, uh, the video got a little bit longer than I thought it would, and we went a different direction than I thought we would be going. Um, but all praise most high, it was good. Uh, you guys got a taste and also got a free software for stitching embroidery. Nice. All right. So again, this is Levi Apparel. Please like and subscribe. And uh, let's keep pushing that subscribe account up. So I can bring you more of these things because as you can see, if I can get this software set up in this computer, then that means um, I'll be able to work with you in widescreen because the other screen is too small and I'm pretty sure you're going to be squinting if you're looking at this. Uh, anyways, this is Levi Perro. Please like and subscribe.